shape of s orbital s is a orbital also it is a subshell also subshell also the l value for s subshell will be zero l value that is azimuthal quantum number will be zero the minimum n value that is minimum principal quantum number minimum n value n value to get s subshell will be 1 1 so it can be 1 uh, it starts from 1 it can be up to infinity but whatever the elements which are there in the periodic table we know that it uh, it will be up to 7s you can fill the electron till 7s therefore what are the possibilities in the periodic table 1s 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, 6s and 7s. Now if you consider all of them, all of them are spherical in shape. There is no doubt. But the size differs. All of them are sphere with different, uh, different size. Now which one will have the maximum size? Simple, as the n value increases. So what is the n value here? That is nothing but the principal quantum number. As the n value increases, definitely the size also increases. So, this is the order of what? Size. Order of size. Therefore, as the principal quantum number increases, the size of the orbital increases. Therefore, they have given an example. The shape of 1s and 2s orbitals are as, as so, shown in the figure. From the diagram, it is very clear that very clear that so 2s the size will be greater when you compare to 1s subshell or 1s orbital and if you consider s subshell or s orbital it is perically symmetrical because when you take the nucleus nucleus is at origin you know that this is the origin this is the radius r so if you consider this radius r you take at the any point in the surface, the radius remains the constant. Therefore, we can say that the s orbital is always spherically symmetrical and the probability of finding the electron at a given distance will be always equal. For example, if I am taking this point, so again, so starting from here, I can draw the surface. So, the probability of finding the electron with the, within this region will be always constant.